Welcome, my name is Sanja Singh. I'm going to show you how to set up Cloudera Hadoop environment to get started. I like Cloudera VM. There are other options there like uh, Hortonworks. Uh, search for it, uh, download CDS Quick Start VM on Google. You'll find a link there. This is the quickest way to set up your environment. There will be other options where if you want to manually set up you can download CDH. Uh, 5.0 is the latest. Here you should have operating system there and you can set up environment. In this case it gives you a VM distribution. And you can use VM manager, management software like VirtualBox or VMware Player, both are free. VMware Player you can use for personal use, it's free, a non commercial use actually. And VirtualBox is open source VM management. It was initially developed by Sun, now it's part of Oracle, but it remains free and open source. To download, once you download, you save it on your disk and start your VirtualBox manager and add a new VM. Cloudera distributes CentOS, which may not be here as an option. If you see here, uh, you can select Red Hat. That's what I have done. Red Hat. Uh. Once you start your VM, it will start a window like this I have shown here. A uh, good thing is, good thing is, it starts a browser. On your browser, you will get links. Uh, you can start your browser again on the VM. If you close it, it also installs Eclipse by default for you. It gives you a full environment where a developer can go and write some test examples and practice with it. So I close my, let's say I close my browser. I can launch it again. And if I go to Cloud Data Manager, it says user and password is admin and admin. I type a admin here, admin here, and I can log in. You can see different ecosystem products are also installed. You have Flume, HBase, Hive, U, Impala, MapReduce version 1.0. This is what uh, I have is 4.x VM. Uh, 4.5 and 6, they support MapReduce 2.0. And the one I have right now is MapReduce 1.0. You have other ecosystem software already installed on it and this you can see the uh, health here. Uh, if your HBase is stopped right now, so let me start it here. I can start, I can control from Cloudera Manager. So starting. A good thing to know, these tools are all installed and uh, once it starts, you can see a link here which was provided. You can browse your uh, file system. So HBase is started. So let me go to HBase Master. All right. You can see, browse here, uh, Hadoop Job Tracker. You can see what jobs are there, there's a name node, monitoring. So all these are pre-installed. It will take a lot of effort to set up a Hadoop environment with everything up and running, which you get out of the box if you use the Quick Start VM. It also gives you Eclipse, which you can actually get started right away. I have already running, I've written a very simple example that processes log files and runs job in local mode, I can run and show. There's no extra configuration that I've done here. Uh, just quick note about this example. This is going to run job tracker in local mode. This is the best practice to test your code. In this case, it runs everything in the same VM locally. It's good for unit testing. 
it's not gonna submit to a remote job tracker it will simulate a job tracker and run will run your map and reduce tasks it's a quick way to test so I run it you can see the log you can run it in debugger right so this is it for now what I showed you is how to set up your VM get it started you get out of the box on different monitoring tools over here and you get Eclipse out of the box where you can start writing code. The next session I'll show you how to write a very simple example.